Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to accept female nature because they are not designed to love you. You got to understand this. They are not designed to love you. They are not designed to like you. They're not designed to consistently want to spend time with you unless you demonstrate the right things. And this doesn't have anything to do with being high value. This does not have anything to do with your income level or any of that shit. This is stuff you have to understand that goes deep into a woman's psychology. After this video is done, I want you to get into the MBT webinar, like I say in every video, because look at this. I got this, I'll block out his name, but you gotta see this. He goes, hey man, yes, saw my LTR yesterday. She was pissed that I pulled back. Shit tested me big time. Stood solid in my masculine frame. I was immovable. She went nuts and every insult you could think of. I was non-reactive. She bust into tears and told me that she hated me. He goes, very quickly, her attitude shifted to one of love and warmth and a couple of drinks later, I'm hitting it from the back in a hotel room. Okay. Hop into that webinar afterwards. This is going to be one hell of a presentation. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm going to make this video today because the number one question that I get asked on my Instagram through direct messages or in the comments section or through email is always like, Casey, a girl who I really like left or my wife left me or I've seen this girl for three years. Everything was great. The sex was good, right? She's head over heels in love. Now, all of a sudden, we don't talk or things are weird or she's moving out of my house, all of that kind of shit. Okay, so because of that, here's what I need you to understand. Today's video, we are going to do a very, very in-depth lesson on accepting female nature because the truth is that they are not designed to love you. Okay, now I don't care if you are Dr. Dre who got a divorce. I don't care if you are Steph Curry whose wife doesn't respect him. I don't care if you are six foot five. Right? I don't care if you bench press 700 pounds. I don't care if you make a $50 billion per month. If you make these mistakes that are wired deep into a woman's psychology, you are going to be left for a different man, even if he is a lower value or lower status than you, because these things translate deep into value. Okay, when you make some of these mistakes that devalue yourself subconsciously without you even realizing it, you gotta understand this goes deep into the wiring of how that woman actually looks at you and how that woman views you. Now, some of you, I already know from this channel, you guys think that I'm bulletproof, right? You guys think that because I have this channel and I talk about all of this, that that means I was like heaven sent from God to where I know everything about women. You gotta understand about this, okay? As I've made this channel over the past five years, I teach this because I have made the mistakes in the past and have learned from them so that way I can demonstrate these to you guys, okay? My whole dating life has been actually kind of cool because as I've documented everything through the years, I've learned everything through the ups and downs and on top of that, I've discovered things to help you guys along the way. So here's what you gotta understand about women, okay? They are not designed in any way, shape or form to love you. Okay, when you look at a woman, you're like, I love her or I love her beauty or I love the things she brings to the table or the way that she makes me feel, right? And her just existing as is, is what you love about her. Women are not hardwired that way. I don't care if you need to write this down on a fucking notebook. I don't care if you need to type this in on your phone. You gotta understand this. They are not designed to love you. They are designed to love their offspring. They are designed to love their children. Okay, think about this. If you're going through a tough time, go, go cry to your mom once or go talk to your mom once and notice how she's always comforting and nurturing regardless of how weak or how emasculated you're going to be acting. There's a reason for that. Understand, okay? A man in all ways, shapes and forms is a utility to women. It is a utility to women. A man is a utility to a woman that she values. She values his utility, what she can use him for. Now, some of you are gonna hear that and you're gonna think, well, they're all evil. That, it doesn't matter what you think. Like, I don't care. They're not wired the way you want them to be. So because you think that you should be able to just exist as is and hold hands and give chocolate Hershey's kisses and then walk in the park and skip daisies and she's gonna to wanna to come home and ride you, that's not how it works, okay? Here's what you gotta realize. Women only want the strongest mate. Now, we're going to get into deep what strength actually equals to a woman in just a second, but understand this. They only want the strongest man physically. They only want the strongest man mentally. They only want the strongest man emotionally. And they only want the strongest man financially. Okay, now here's what you gotta remember. I want you to write this down if, if you have a notebook or if you take notes on these videos because I know some of you do. The most important thing to a woman, write this down, the most important thing to a woman over all of these is going to be his emotional strength and his mental strength. Because this goes into the deep hardwiring of the toughness of how he gets through challenges in life, okay? If you make $50 million a year and you're set financially and you look like the Incredible Hulk and you're a beast, 
but you're a cookie cutter Pillsbury Doughboy who gets very emotionally attached. You fall very into love quickly, right? You become emasculated through lust or you become emasculated through constant physical touch and physical contact. Here's what you're going to understand. Okay. Your job as a man is to show strength, not love. When you start showing lots of love and affection to a woman, she's going to get turned off. So here's what you got to understand. Only then will she respect you when you show the strength that a woman actually values until you're able to show the strength on a day to day basis. Okay. That means being able to be alone. Okay. That means being able to be financially self-sufficient. That means being able to rely on yourself in times of hardship or in times of distress. And not only that, falling back on these because you have prior proof of success. Okay. This is what a woman falls in love with is your ability to not need her. Say that again with me. This is what a woman falls in love in love with is your ability to not need her. Now, what happens with most men? Okay, what happens with most men is what I like to call subconscious devaluation. Okay, subconscious devaluation means that a high value man can be stripped of his value. And when I say high value, maybe he's high value in the looks department, he's high value in the money department, he's high value in his social group or social status. Okay, Subconscious devaluation happens when men make these deep rooted mistakes that go into a woman's psychology. Do not make these. Okay. Like here's the thing too. You're going to have to go through like you're, you're okay. You are going to, most of you will watch this and it will go in one ear and out the other. You will hear this. Like you, you will hear this. Okay. And it will go in one ear and out the other until you have made the mistakes that lets this stuff sink in. Okay. When I was growing up, I seen my parents divorce, for example. Okay. I've seen like, I've seen men have to go through really hard times that have had to make them become a man to not keep making these same mistakes. I'm going to tell you this. If I'm about to give you this juice right here, if I'm going to give you this juice and you won't take it seriously, close out of the video. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't care if you like, you, you see this in the real world. You have to understand this. You see how the girl don't, doesn't respect Steph Curry. You see how majority of women don't even respect like their high value men or their high, va high value husbands that they're able to pull. These things go into value. So subconscious devaluation, how do you actually pick up on this? Well, to understand a woman and to understand a woman's psychology, you have to think in reverse. Every time you see this, think in reverse. Like uh, every time, every time, like she says something that she claims she wants, I want you to think fucking reverse it. Here's what I mean. Men give their time. Everything that's underlined here is a specific way that you will slowly start to subconsciously devaluate yourself. So men give time. Okay. Let's start with time. Number one time means that if you give it to her in your male brain, since you're logical, you're going to look at the word time and you're going to think, cool, we are spending time together. We are growing closer. We now have higher levels of companionship because that's how you're wired. You're wired to think logically. Okay. You give the time you think, cool, we are continuing this interaction or continuing this relationship. She's going to fall more in love with me. This could not be further from the truth. Women only fall in love through time apart. Okay. When I say the women only fall in love through time apart, here's what you have to understand with this in a woman's brain, she's sitting there going, okay. And she might even say it feels good. She might say, yeah, I want to spend time with you. I want to see you watch what happens once she gets it. And once she gets it in excess and gets it in abundance, when you're always there for her, What's going to happen is that she's no longer going to value it. So she's going to sit there and go, Hmm, you know, this guy is six foot five makes $20 million a year, right? Should have things going on in his life. And somehow I'm always able to get his time. He must not be high value. You can have every real world physical, right? And status driven success marker. And it is not going to make a shit of difference in that woman's head because this goes into the value of how she's wired when she sees you. So this is number one time. Okay. Now let's look at the next thing. Men give compliments. Okay. You are going in your male brain. You are wired logically. You're going to look at a compliment. Okay. Could be complimenting a personality, could be complimenting her cooking, could be complimenting her eyes, could be complimenting, um, the things she says or things she does could be complimenting even personality traits. Okay. What you got to understand about compliments is once again, you need to think in reverse. So you think, Hey, I give a compliment. Therefore I should either receive one back or she's going to like me more because I was good to her. This couldn't be further from the truth. What this happened, what, what happens is this goes into subconscious devaluation. So she's going to look at the compliment and she's going to go, Hmm, he's complimenting me. 
he needs my approval or he's trying to get me to like him. Therefore, him just existing right here as is, isn't good enough. This is what starts to run through her brain. And she's not even going to be able to articulate it. Like, here's what you're going to know, especially if you ever try this once. Next time you have pillow talk with a girl, maybe post intimacy, post sex, just talk to her for an hour or so. See what happens. She'll get tongue tied quick. And a lot of times they can't articulate what they actually think or what they're feeling. And it's because it's a feeling, right? They don't know how to articulate it. When you give compliments, you're going to subconsciously devaluate. Now let's look at validation. This means time. This means attention. This means compliments. Anytime you're validating a woman, okay, you're going to think once again, Hmm, I'm giving there. Sure. Therefore I should receive. She looks at it as he's giving because he has to, he must not be as high value as I thought. You got to understand a woman wants to know that you're better than her. A woman wants to look up to you. The next would be phone communication. See, this is a big one, especially in the world that we live in today, because what happens with phone communication is games are played through the phone. And when I say games are played through the phone, you got a million different apps. You got a million different notifications. She has a million different notifications between texting, email calls, all that shit. Here's what you got to understand with phone communication, men get into this mindset where if they're not talking to her, if they're not replying, somebody else will be. Okay, so they get into the mindset and I understand because you're logical you think, well, hey, if I talk, if I continue to talk, if I continue to be there, what's going to happen is she's going to like me more. Okay, once again, you need to reverse this. This goes into subconscious devaluation. Women only want the highest value mate that they can possibly attract. If they only want the highest value mate that they can possibly attract, if a guy is hitting them up 24 seven, every single day on the text message, and you're the one guy who isn't or you're the one guy who has pulled away or you're the one guy who's able to cut that phone communication, or at minimum label it, or excuse me, not label it, use it for specific times to set dates, you are now going to register as higher value than that guy. Which means women don't want to sleep with just anybody, they want to sleep with the strongest cock. If you can demonstrate ways that you have the strongest cock, you can outdo other men who may be even more successful than you, better looking, taller, more handsome. This goes into the wiring of how that woman behaves. Next is commitment. You think if I give commitment, that shows my loyalty. Okay, you're a logical man. You're like, well, I'm loyal I'm there for her. Therefore, she will respect me and she will give me that back. Couldn't be further from the truth in her hardwiring. You've got to think in reverse. If a man's willing to commit, it's because he has to, this starts to show your card for a scarcity mindset. This starts to show that you probably really, really like her. And all of a sudden she really, really doesn't like you. Once you start to crack the code on this shit and you see this for what it is, you will now really understand that these are the things that bite men in the ass, despite them not even noticing that it's happening. Okay. Now here's what happens too. Men will lie to appease women despite their bad behavior. Read that one more time. Men lie to appease women despite their bad behavior. So women will act poor, okay, or women will act bad, and what they'll do is they will still give these things that will continue to devalue them despite their bad behavior. A high value to a woman, okay, a high value man to a woman is all mental. If you can wrap the woman's brain, if you can get her to look up to you, if you can get her to be emotionally attached to you and consistently pursue you for these traits of time and attention, okay, without you readily giving them in excess, this is when you start to win. So what that means is she needs to know at all times that you're better than her. Steph Curry's wife doesn't respect him, right? He makes tons of money. He has tons of followers. He's one of the best basketball players and she doesn't care because she doesn't like him. Think about this on a deep level. When you're there in front of a woman every single day, it's hard for her to value you. This is why commitment as a whole is something that a woman has to chase or a woman has to pursue for you. And I understand that this goes against a lot of the modern day hardwiring that you've been programmed to believe. However, you have to look at this for what it is. You've probably been sold a false bag of goods over the years that you think love is something that will happen when you give your best and she gives her best, but that's not how it works. So, Men who are attached become emotionally weak at all times and they despise men who cannot walk away. Your ability to walk away is the only power that you have as a man. And you can have this ability at any age, any height, any income level, right? By the time I was about 21, 22, I started to adapt this mentality that if the woman is not a hundred percent on my program at all times, like if the woman isn't a hundred percent about what I got going on, in no way, shape, or form am I going to continue to give time, excess, validation, attention because you start to lose the ability to walk away. Women will actually despise you for that.
which means you all as a man, you want to only fuck with women who have high interest in you. If you deal with women who have high interest in you, you're going to start to get their best behavior. And this is important. Okay. So if you can't walk away, this reveals your scarcity. If you're in scarcity in any way, shape or form, okay, this is going to bleed through how you act. This is why truthfully, like a thoroughbred alpha male in a lot of ways is able to tackle a lot of the hardships in life by himself. You're able probably to sling your own cash when it comes to yourself financially. Like alpha males are driven and ambitious and able to start businesses. Alpha males are able to replace a woman if she acts up. Alpha males are able to walk away. Okay, these are important traits. And this is why I created MBT, which is masculine behavioral techniques. You can check out the webinar that I have below for you. These are some of the adaptations and the techniques that you have to start to ingrain if you're not naturally like this. So here's what I can tell you. She needs to know that you can replace her and you can replace her at all times because this shows your value. Okay, the, the work I'm gonna tell you the worst case scenarios for men, the worst case scenarios for men is when she starts acting up or she's rude. And you sit in that relationship for one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, until you have devalued yourself for so long that she has no respect for you at all. If you notice bad behavior in any way, shape or form, you get the fuck out of that ASAP. If she chooses to come back, cool, that, that's awesome. If not, you're strong and you're stoic within your own purpose and the own things that you have going on. I'm gonna tell you this too. When you act this way, you attract women. See, that's the thing. You have women who want to come into your life. You have women that actually want to talk to you because instead of chasing, they're able to pursue you because you've demonstrated value. So she needs to know at all times that you can replace her. And not only that, you got to realize what, what did I do through this whole thing? I told you how women value a man, how women love a man. This has nothing to do with sex. I didn't talk about sex once. If anything, having sex will make you lust driven and this will emasculate you. Since it will emasculate you, here's what you gotta understand. Every religion known to man that I, like that I know has always said that weakness of the flesh, okay, and a woman's, woman's touch, woman's beauty, weakness of the flesh, this is like a man's kryptonite. Which means if you have the logical ability to spot this, here's what happens. As men consistently sleep with more women, as you're hanging out with women, as you're touching women, as you're fantasizing about their beauty, right? As you guys are escalating in the bedroom, right? And when I say touch, that can mean anything from holding hands. That can be going for a walk in the park and trying to kiss her. Shit like that, what it does is it starts to get, it starts to get you infatuated with the, with the lust of the, with the, the, the flesh of the woman, okay? And the lust. That right there is going to slowly emasculate you. And what you're going to notice is all of these things start to bleed through because you become less focused on your purpose. You become more focused on chasing ass. And by the end of it, you are not the man that she thought you'd be. So I hope that this video helped you. Like you have to accept female nature because they are not designed to love you. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.